Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So now we're inside, but part of my weekly fertilizer um, schedule, regimen, whatever you want to call it, in addition to using an annualized, annualized, an annual fertilizer for a lot of my supertunias and zinnias and the things that bloom constantly, I also uh, clean my fish tank once a week. I take at least two or three buckets of water out, and by buckets I mean my watering can. This is a three gallon watering can. And then I take them out and I pour them on my plants, things in my pots, things in my window boxes. Sometimes some of my flowers, like my super tunis that at the moment are struggling because it's been so hot. Um, fish tanks, this is not a fish tank video, but fish tanks need to be have wa regular water changes in order to keep the fish on my little happy fish here, um, happy and healthy. The water will start to cycle and bad proportions. But what is bad for the fish in an enclosed system, um, that bacteria is actually really good for plants. It has things like nitrates and um, potassium. I don't remember. It's good for your plants. So while I don't do an entire fish change like this every single week, I do it most weeks. And I always find that my plants are happy when they get a little fish water. So today we're going to go ahead and do maybe two watering cans. I'm not sure yet. I want to uh, water my coneflowers that I just pruned back. I want to water my super tunias that I just pruned back uh, and perhaps the zinnias as well. So we'll see how far two, wa two watering cans goes. And this is just a little hand pump um water changer i have a larger one i also have a python that i use that connects to my sink which is my preferred way to change my water for my fish tank because it's a lot easier but this guy is small and easy to handle for my watering can so that is what i use for my watering can and then when I go to put the water back in, I'll use the one that connects to my sink. Y'all don't need to hang out for that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and stand here. I want to show you how long it takes to fill up a three gallon watering can. It's not long. Um, and if you do this once a week, your fish will be happier and your plants will be happier. My mom, my mom doesn't love fish and she does not keep fish, but she does like fish water so she has t somehow talked to my brother, who is the ultimate fish keeper. I have one tank, hoping for another one. I have two other ones that aren't full right now. Um, but mainly I just have my community tank. My brother has a 100-gallon tank. He has several 50-gallon tanks. He has several 30-gallon tanks. He keeps big bashirs and cichlids and things that take a lot more effort than my little angels here. And my mom, since she doesn't want fish, has somehow convinced my brother that when he does his weekly water changes, to put water in five gallon buckets and bring it to her instead of just getting rid of it. She puts it on her plants. All right, so once the water gets up to the top of the watering can, you'll simply pull that out, break the seal. Now I'm gonna put this back in. Not to restart the suction, we will have to pump it to restart the suction, just so it doesn't uh, spill all over the floor. And we'll go water some plants. You coming, Betty? Let's go. You making a mess? You making a mess, buddy? All right, we'll play in a minute. Let's 
getting heavy. It's starting to smell. All right, so you can see these super tunias are starting to come back after I pruned them. So let's get them a little fishy fertilizer. Whenever you're doing any kind of fertilizer, including fish water, I'm going to put some on until it starts to sit on top of the ground. It doesn't sink in anymore. All right. These pin cushions really got beat by the heat. The verbena's loving it, though. I mean, it loves heat. Salvia. Woo. Switch hands. Definitely easier when I'm not filming. Of course, a lot of fertilizers, especially commercial fertilizers, you don't want to get on the leaves of your plants. But is what it is and this is natural so i think these might be dead i'm not seeing any green come back on these petunias i think we are going to replace these with the mums all right let's find something else Gotta fix that path Let's do these zinnias. They look like they've seen better days. Probably be putting pansies in here soon. Definitely need to reweed this area. Almost done. Uh, let's hit the cat mint. Ooh. All right. Let's get another bucket. Definitely need to hit the comb flowers.
That's really close to the top. Dun, dun, dun. So I just cut back all these cone flowers and a bunch of my gara. And we are going to give it all a little bit of fish water. I have a really bad problem with grasshoppers over here. So kind of keep my grasshopper spray on the porch right here. Apparently it has a fallen off the porch, maybe with all the rain. Let's do the bee bomb a little too, because it's growing like crazy, but it has yet to bloom once since we put it in. whole area is beautiful when it's blooming but it's kind of a hot mess when it's done but you know especially those cone flowers naturalize really well so just letting them naturalize let's give these zinnias a smidge and cut them back hard hard they're putting out new leaves though at least some of them are a little for this sweet alyssum that a uh, stereo vine right there is killing it look at that my brother's gonna come help me uh put it further up my tree Whew. it's a non-invasive wisteria which is wonderful but that means it doesn't climb as well as invasive wisteria because it's just not invasive so i have to help it Typically, once I get it on a part where it can grip, it'll it'll hang on. But uh, starting down here at the bottom, it won't climb on its own. Unlike regular invasive wisteria, which will just like take over your entire life. All right, I am done. I am probably going to just go ahead and fill in my fish tank from now on. I could do one more bucket down on the other half of the garden, but... Uh, I'm, I don't think I want to take any more water out of my fish tank today, so we'll do that next week. I hope this helps. If you have a fish tank and you have a garden, this is always a great way to do your water changes. If you don't and you know somebody who has a fish tank, maybe you can get a little fish water every now and then. If not, maybe you just liked watching my fish swim around because I like watching them. Either way, I'm going to go ahead, go fill the tank back up and call it a night. I hope I will see y'all in the next garden video. In the meantime, have a good night. Bye y'all.